Greg Ruff and Gary Van Atta with you and talking about the great Midwest Athletic Conference. You guys are picked third in the conference this year. Just talk about that and the race that you predict. Well, I'll tell you what, um, it's going to be a tough race. It always is. Um, being third is uh, probably generous, you know, with as many freshmen as we have. Uh, you know, we, we have uh, an, uh, an experienced group coming back, um, but we also have an injured group coming back. We've got uh, one with tore all three ligaments in her knee, uh, Shari Swift, and then we have uh, Morgan Long, who's had rotator cuff surgery. So that kind of hurts us in the experience side of it. And then uh, you throw in six freshmen, and all of a sudden it's total chaos every day in practice. Well, we talked with Helen Mister just a minute ago, and she said the freshmen are definitely going to help. And she was actually happy that there was that many of them to kind of help you with practice. That's been a challenge at times recently with some of the injuries that you've had. You haven't had enough to really go a full force practice. Yeah, it really has been nice. Nice to be able to go after each other, you know, five on five every day. And, uh, you know, when you get in a two hour practice and you got competition the entire uh, two hours, it's awesome. So, uh, yeah, we do like that. And, and, and the freshmen are competitive. And, and you know, they're, they're a really good class and they're going to be uh, a group that hopefully that continues to work. Uh, you know, have a lot of success here at Trevecca. This year in college basketball on the women's side, there's changes on both the men's and women, but the women, they've just kind of messed us all up, haven't they? we got to get used to a whole new ball game. Quarters, no more one-and-ones, no more uh, uh, you can advance the ball. Just talk about all the different changes and kind of uh, how you think they're going to impact the game. Well, they uh, ripped off the page that said uh, WNBA and NBA and just replaced it with college women's basketball because all the rules that we've adopted have basically been professional type rules. We've gone to the four quarters. Uh, you know, we've gone to uh, after the fifth foul, you're automatically in the double bonus, no more one and ones. And at the end of each quarter, you wipe it clean and start over again. So uh, so you're going to have a lot of free throw shot. Uh, teams foul early and quick. You're going to have a lot of two shot fouls in, in a, per quarter. Um, but it doesn't carry over until overtime. Uh, and then the, the, the one that probably um, gets me is the Last 59 seconds and or 59 second 59.9 seconds. If the other team uh, shoots and scores, then the uh, uh, rebounding team or the, the team that gets scored on can call timeout immediately if they do not advance the ball. In other words, if I make a pass and then I decide to call timeout, then I get the timeout, but I don't get to advance the ball. I just have to bring it in. So. Uh, there's some rules we have to work with about uh, the fact that if we're going to, in that time, if we're going to move it up, that we got to make sure we don't try to, if we bring it in, we, if we step out of bounds, we can't throw the ball in and call the timeout. So, and then you get the ball in your half court uh, with 59 seconds, you know, a 30 second shot clock to try to score. And uh, not a fan, but uh, they say it's supposed to make college basketball a little bit more exciting. We'll see. Well, it just kind of takes away the defensive pressures you have to kind of pressure the ball and maybe get a steal, especially if you're behind in that situation. So it really almost helps the offensive team and the team that's ahead. Right, it, it does. And, and um, you know, I understand why they do it, but, you know, that's the whole point, I think, is that uh, basketball can be unpredictable. And uh, when you have to go 94 feet to try to score, uh, and I know the, the powers that be don't like the defensive struggles and they don't like to see – they want to, you know, all the, the hand touch rules that we've added to basketball in the last couple of years, it's all designed to free up uh, offensive players and the, to make the games more exciting. And they think this is one of those things. Uh, talk about your team coming back uh, for this season and kind of what you expect your team to look like. That's a great question. Um, then, then why aren't you answering? <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to be exciting. Um, because every time we go out on the floor, it's going to be something new. It's going to be a, it's going to be a new experience. Uh, all kidding aside, they're working hard. They really are. They're uh, talented. They're athletic. Uh, they're dedicated. Um, and in some combinations, we've got experience. In some combinations, we have none. So it's a matter of trying to get the old blended with the new. You know, it's like I told somebody today, it's like a paint job on a house. You know, you try your best when you go and try to get a swatch to match the paint exactly. Um, but uh, you either have two choices. You either do the great job matching it and it blends perfectly or you got to paint the whole house. <laughs> and we're just hoping we don't have to paint the whole house. So uh, I think they match well with what we do. It's just a matter of we're going to be a little bigger, um, you know, than we were last year. Uh, Will be uh, athletic at the guard, um, you know, be able to score in transition. So it's going to be it's going to be a fun year, but it's going to be uh, this hair may get a lot grayer before the end of the year. I'm afraid. 
I think it colors it, to be honest with you. So I don't think it matters. Uh, all right. So you guys have got uh, some experience and some uh, new folks coming back. Talk about uh, the other folks in the conference real quickly. Well, I mean, Cedarville's at the top of the food chain. You know, they only lost one player. Of course, she was the, the conference player of the year last year. Um, so they got everybody returning, and I'm sure they had a good recruiting year as well. And then uh, Kentucky Wesleyan, and, you know, they just uh, interchangeable parts. They just come in and, and uh, swap it. They play hard, and, uh, you know, the, they do a great job uh, getting their kids to play hard. Uh, Davidson Elkins, you know, they're – they're always the wild card, man. I mean, Ursuline, you just, you, they're always uh, talented and they're going to, you know, when you're on the road playing in this league, you better be ready to play. Ursuline this year has their own gym, so we're not going to mm -hmm. be, you know, going to be, for them, it's bless their hearts, not going to be a traveling basketball show, with, you know, at a different venue every night. And then you throw in Alderson Broadus, who had a new coach last year and changed the style of play, plays more like the Olivet teams we've mm -hmm. seen, the run and gun, quick sub in and out. Um, and Ohio Valley, and, and, you know, Dave does a great job there with them as well. And so, you, know, you can go up and down the whole list. Uh, I'm sure I missed somebody, but uh, you know it's uh, it's going to be very very competitive, uh, and you know we just hope that we go out every day understanding that it's Division Two basketball, and you better be ready to play. It's Gary Van Atta with our GMAC preview here on the Senior. Greg Ruff with you, and Helen Mitchner joins us. She's a senior out of Mount Juliet, and this is your senior year. Uh, four years seems to fly by fast, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Um, I'm very excited about it. What? Tell me something. Let's start off by just talking about. What brought you to Trevecca? You're from Mount Juliet. There's a long history of Trevecca men's and women's basketball players and other athletes coming to Trevecca. Had you heard much about Trevecca before you came? Uh, a little bit, not a whole lot, but I knew that um, Coach Van Atta's daughter had played there, and I've heard good things about it. Uh, you played with uh, Paige, who's who is here as well, and uh, I would assume you probably played with Britt Bell just a little bit too. Yep, I did for two years. <laughs> they have uh, again a lot. You know, Gary Van Adam mm -hmm. played there as well. I don't know. I don't know if they admit that a whole lot, but but he did he did play there. But it is a long tradition of uh, Mount Juliet players coming and Wilson County players coming. But uh, what was it about Trevecca that that finally sold you to to come here? Um, I really loved the girls when I came here on the visit. I liked the campus. Everything just kind of felt like home. So like for four years you've been playing here. It just seems hard to believe that you're a senior and, and it seems like with a lot of them, but especially with, with I think you and Paige in particular because you guys played so much early on. Um, what has been the biggest surprise maybe about your time at Trebek that maybe you didn't know or think about when you when you first came to college? Any Anything stand out that like, hey, I didn't even think about that about Trebek, just the community, the size or whatever? Oh, well, it was definitely smaller than I thought it would be, but it, it works out. Uh, this year's team, you guys have come back and you got a, a lot of people coming back. You always lose some seniors or whatnot, but just talk about the guys that are coming back for this for this year's roster. Uh, they're going to definitely have to, you know, kind of step up their game as well as the seniors, and I think we'll do well. When you go from year to year, is there something maybe that you work on? And if that is the case, what, what have you worked on since last year to maybe try to improve for, for your senior year? Well, I know this summer we did a lot of open gyms and everyone kind of worked on their own thing that they do in the game. So mine would be ball handling, being a point guard. Um, also, dribble drives, shooting, obviously. Um, just the simple techniques. Those are always things that you can work on. Now, uh, when you think about this year, you've been through the process, the transition that we've gone from NAI to Division II, and really you've been here through the whole Division II process. And now this year, as a conference, the winner of the conference gets to go to the regionals. That's something you guys have kind of had uh, in the back of your mind preparing for this year? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> That would be something obviously very special to, to be able to accomplish. All right, so the newcomers, you got to take a look at the at the newbies. Yes. Uh, talk about them a little bit. Anything that stands out with them? Uh, they are definitely going to help us this year. Thank goodness that we have enough of them, so we can have a lot of subs in practice. And um, I think they're definitely going to help. All right, that's Helen Mitchner preparing for her senior year in the Great Midwest Athletic Conference.